Giving our praise and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakadash. Double honor to the elders of GMS, also salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. And also Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And um, I'm trying to make this lesson quick, all right? And it's based off this uh, video right here, okay? And it's speaking about it's nine oh, months. On. So, like, it's speaking about the grid going out, all right? Darkness, you know, I think it said, I think they said for if the grid went out, well, I'm a player, if the grid went out for 90 days, you know, 90% uh, of the population would, would die, you know? But uh, that's why Yahweh Shai said uh, he got to speed up the time. At least there'd be no flesh saves, you know, because this man plan on committing, you know, certain acts, you know, whether it's uh, FEMA camps or, you know, knocking out the grid. You know, it's certain things that's going to take place, you know, famine, uh, uh, civil war. You know, it's going to be all out hell. You got to remember what the book of uh, Daniel said, right? Hold on, let's see. It says, uh, hold on. Book of Daniel says, uh, one second. Move this out the way. Salakia. Book of Daniel says this. Go to the 12th chapter. Get that out the way. All right. All right. It says, uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great people. It's, at this time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble. This it is. Such as never was since there was a nation. Even at the same time, shall our people shall be delivered. So it's gonna be a time like like never before, man. Something that you know people never never uh never uh witness. You know, not even the Egyptian Empire, right? Because when you go into the uh go into ancient Egypt, you know, darkness was one of the plagues that the Lord put on Egypt. Let's go to uh Ezra's real quick. All right. Let's go to the book of Ezra. All right. This is what the Lord said. All right. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai said. Okay. Uh, let me see. All right. Here we go. Second Ezra 15 and 10. It says, For my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will bring them with a mighty hand. But the Salakia. He says, I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So that's letting you know, you know, it's a second Egypt, you know. Uh Revelations eleven and, and eight. It says, uh, uh uh matter of fact, I'm just gonna grab it real quick. Then we're gonna go back and we'll read that over again though. Alright. Let's go to Re Revelations eleven and eight. All right. All right, now remember, it says a place that is called spiritually Egypt and Sodom, okay? So uh, this is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the great, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, all right? So this second Egypt, all right, what we call America, uh, uh, a.k.a. Babylon, B.K.A., all right, Egypt, all right? these plagues is going to come upon this place again or you know this the plagues is going to the same plagues that happened to the first egypt all right is going to take place again on the second egypt okay those things are going to have ha, ha, those things are going to have is going to happen again you know things hey hey the lord even uh uh you know uh uh how can i put it reincarnate you know certain things to uh you know to 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 happen again it's the same history repeats itself you know so um, so america is going to receive all right those same plagues all right what's what's written you know in the scriptures you know but let's read it over again all right 
and says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to a slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right? Now, what is that talking about? It's talking about over here in America. And I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And I will smite Egypt with plagues as before. And I will destroy all the land thereof. You see? So this letting you know it's talking about what another Egypt. Because, hey, the first Egypt was already destroyed. You know? That place got, got it, it, it got dismantled. Okay? So let's go to this video. If we truly have an outage, it is nationwide that last nine months, the EMP commission, they found that as many as 90% of Americans would die. 90% of Americans, that's what's 90% of 360 million people. That's, yeah, so it's like 300 million. So. 300 million people yeah. wiped off the map just yeah. like that. And how, how long did you say that would take? Nine months. Nine months? I th that. And what does it look like if our power grid goes down? So it really becomes almost zombie apocalypse. And it's horrific because we think about loosening the rule of law. And so we have George Carlin, you know, a clip from, you know, one of his comedy tours in the movie. And he says can't count on the police or the National Guard will be at home protecting their own family. So that in part, you know, he just made, if you watch that movie, uh, they have some movie uh, about a zombie apocalypse, right? And people are going crazy. People is running to the drugstore, grabbing medicine. And I think it has Brad Pitt in it. And he grew, uh, he get the fighting this dude. He has a pull, have to pull out a gun and shoot this dude. And the police is running up, right? And guess what? The police just run right past him, you know? He don't try to take him to jail, you know? Or or you know, uh, you know, try to uh 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 what word I'm looking for? Try to uh discipline this dude, right? He goes and grabs medicine off the shelf and runs out the drugstore, man. You know? Babe, but hey, nothing is new under the sun. Now let's get this in Wisdom of Solomon, all right? And this is going to talk about when, uh, 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 when Egypt went, went, uh, completely dark. Okay. This is with Solomon 17 and one. It says, Oh Lord, your acts of judgment are, mar are marvelous and hard to explain. That is why people who have been taught about them, right. And this is in the GNT too. All right. That is why people who have been taught about them. So like, that is why people who have not been taught about them went astray. When a lawless people imagine that they had your holy people in their power, they themselves imprisoned in a long night of darkness. You see, because, hey, that was one of the plagues with the Lord brought on Egypt. All right. When you go into, you know, one of those, when you go into the plagues, he brought lights of, uh, upon them, frogs, you know, uh, what else? He uh, killed, killed the firstborn. All right. But also he brought what? Darkness. Darkness upon him. OK. It says. Uh, it says. They they lay in their own houses shut off from eternal care. They thought that their sins had been secret and unnoticed and should it from view by the dark curtain of forgetfulness but now they were horribly afraid confused and terrified by ghostly forms right when you read it in the regular right it speaks out it speaks about what apparitions all right so they seen you know demons you know the lord the lord was was torturing these these damn egyptians man and then same and, and, and same thing man that's why it says uh what's that in uh what's i think is i'm gonna look up this scripture say the day of the lord is darkness and only darkness you know and darkness represents evil you know uh, uh, uh evil judgment okay different different calamities okay and that's what the lord brought upon egypt in that in that day you know all right let me look for this think is in amos if i'm not mistaken uh, right 
Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Right? It says, For the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see? So that, that's the evil time. You know, dark or, or black represents what? Evil, man. Evil, evil times. You know? So so if the grid was the was, was the goal, guess what? It'll 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 get crazy, man. All right? It'll be complete lawlessness. All right. And people will basically have a uh, free reign or, you know, free will to, you know, do to do whatever the hell they want to do. Whether it's rape, kill, you know, steal. Uh, fucking eat each other, you know, because look, a lot of these people, they fucking depend off the uh, off the government, you know. Or these or these different uh, uh word I'm looking for, I think it's I think it's amenities. You know, which I probably messed that word up, you know, like your like 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 the lights that fucking go that 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 uh that go to your house, you know, and your and your refrigerator. What else? Uh lights, refrigerator, oh uh 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 hot water, those 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 different things, man. You see? So so these people that's that's real comfortable. The Lord is he's going to make them real uncomfortable in that day. It says, read that part over again. But now they were horribly afraid and confused and terrified by the ghostly forms. All right. Job spoke about uh, 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 how, how his uh, how his hair stood up, you know, when he when he, uh, you know, seen seen the spirit, you know, let me see if I can find that real quick. All right this is a uh, job uh 4 and 13 this says in the thoughts from visions of the night when the deep sleep falleth upon man fear came upon me and trembling which made all my bones to shake then a spirit passed before my face on the hair of my flesh stood up all right so you know those, those spirits spirits you know or, or demons is a, is a scary thing man you know because that's something that's 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 basically you know out of this world man you know something something you you can't you can't kill or or uh touch man you know but joe said what it it, it made this it made this Hold on, let's read it again. It says, then a spirit passed before my face, and the hair of my, and the hair of my flesh stood up. You know, he got chills, man. All right, and and they and his hair actually stood up. You know, cause that's that's one thing. Hey, man, you you can't you can't fight a spirit, man. You know, you can't beat it up or shoot it. You know. <laughs> You know, something that's 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 not of this world, all right, that's not fleshly, you can't do nothing to it. Verse four, it says, Not even this is verse four in the wisdom of Solomon, not even the dark corners where they could where they could protect them from a fear, they were surrounded by horrible noises and grim ghosts with with gloomy faces appear before their eyes. No fire had power to give them light, and the brilliant stars could do nothing to relieve the deathly darkness you see there was only a dreadful fire lit by lit by no human hand that shone on them and in their terror they believed that the real world was even worse than the things they imagined the illusions produced by magic tricks were put to shame and all the wisdom that they had boasted came to nothing let's see and that's gonna that's gonna play out again man the things with these people boasting right but this is talking about uh during the time of moses when they were trying to uh, uh do all these uh, uh false miracles the the the, the uh, uh the different musicians you know i said musicians i, I mean but magicians you know and the lord really showed him something Lord, Lord said, "Look, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my uh, uh, staff eat, turn my staff into a snake and um and um and eat your serpent, you know. Also, you know, I'm a, I'm 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 gonna kill shit, you know. Hell, I'm gonna make this place black or dark, you know. It says uh, 
the illusions the illusions produced by the magic tricks were put to shame and all wisdom they had boasted of came to nothing they had claimed they could drive away all fears and illnesses of sick minds but now they themselves were sick with silly guardless fears even though nothing had actually happened they were terrified by hissing snakes and animals advancing on them <laughs> damn see so the lord brought some, some scary shit upon them man all right and so they died shaking with fear afraid even to open their eyes yet unable to keep them shut <laughs> <laughs> so the Lord was torturing them, man. You know, because because they, you know, uh, th this fear. You know, the Lord sent, sending all these different, sending all these different apparitions, right? And you know, they want to close your eyes because of fear, but you but you got to look. You know, you got to see what what's coming towards you. You know, but the Lord is a actually, you know, what, what is actually, what the Lord is actually bringing upon you. You see. It says wickedness is cowardly in itself and stands self-condemned. Someone who is someone with a guilty conscience will always imagine things to be worse than they really are. All right. So look, they was they they was they was condemned in their mind already. All right. They 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 knew that they that they deserved judgment. Okay. So so that, that so that just made the judgment even worse on them. You see? Fear is nothing but failure to use the help that reason gives. When you lack confidence to rely on reason, you give you give in to the fears caused by ignorance. All night long, those people slept the same restless sleep, even though the night held no power over them, since it came from a powerless depths depths of the world of the dead. They were chased by hideous forms. It says, uh, lay paralyzed as they surrendered themselves to sudden over unexpected fear that came over them. People would suddenly collapse and lie locked in the chains of their own fear. So the Lord literally scared these people to death, man, in his darkness. All right. Letting them basically these people was dying from fear. Farmers, shepherds, and laborers out in the countryside were captured by the same inevitable fate and bound in their darkness by the same invisible chain. They were pain-stricken by the sign of the wind and by the singing of the birds in the trees. Because look, it's, it's, imagine it's dark, but you can hear all these animals. You see? And you seeing these fucking apparitions. Just, just imagine a scary movie. You know how they do those scary movies? Somebody walking down the street, you, you might hear like a... Like, like, like a like uh, the little chandelier things, you know, on the uh, porch. You might see a cat, you know, shit like that, you know. That's what the Lord was doing to him, you know. Just imagine a scary movie. It says, and by the war of the rushing water, or by the rumble of the falling rock, or by the sound of the unseen creatures running up, or by the savaging roaring of wild animals, or by the echoes from the mountains. Yeah, and that's another thing. When it's dark, you can hear everything. All right, especially when you, I, when, when, uh, when everything is a uh, is a uh, completely dark and, and nothing is moving, right? Like, like, like in a city life, right? I fucking live in the city, right? Uh, uh, a uh, place where you know you don't hear no cars no more, right? Uh, uh, you don't hear people anymore. You know, you don't hear the 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 the, the same old things that you will, you know, uh, uh, hear. So, so now you're able to completely hear uh, nature. All right. Now you got to tune in to uh to uh, everything, you know. Just Im imagine who was that? Uh, 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 yeah, it was it was uh, Miriam, right? When when the Lord smited her with a uh, leprosy, you know, imagine her, you know, sitting in the woods by herself. Yeah. Yeah. Just imagine sitting in the woods by yourself. You know, only thing you're going to hear. Right. is just those animals. You see. It says, in the full light of day, the rest of the world went about its business undisturbed. Only those people were covered by the heavy night, a foretaste of darkness of death that was waiting for them. They were a burden to themselves, 
that was even heavier than darkness. All right. So, <laughs> oh, the Lord. Hey, man. Uh, 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 if he smite this place with a fucking, um, what you call that? With an EMP. All right. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of death, man. All right. People, people are going to, people are going to experience these, these things again. All right. Wild animals. All right. Like it says, uh, uh, teeth, teeth of wild beasts, you know, you're going to experience these things again. People are going to be what, afraid to go outside again. You see? Because guess what? You're not going to know what's out there, man. But hey, man, with that, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rekakadash. Double honors to the L's of GMS. Also, salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. And also, Shalom to the rest of the whole full elect. Peace.